Hey guys, today I want to go over different ways that you can get your 20 blue class engraving books. Getting the blue tier of engraving book means that you will have double the engraving points from your green book, which will make gearing your character much easier. And if you stay until the end, I'll also go over some easy and free ways that you can get your 20 purple class engraving books on your main as well. If this video helps you out, please like and subscribe. I also stream Lost Ark on Twitch, so catch me there for some live content. Link in the description. And getting right into it. The first 10 blue class books I'm going to talk about are super awesome because you can actually do them on your alts as well. A quick note though, this will only work on alts that you either manually leveled or knowledge transferred. Your power past alts will not have these quests. Also, there are more ways to get blue class engravings than what I'm about to go over. These are just some of the easiest ones. The first seven books you can get are from a quest chain you unlock after completing Memories of Lutera. The first quest in this chain is called Save Me, which is a purple quest you will also pick up in the Black Rose Chapel of East Lutera after finishing the prerequisite. Just go through this quest line and you'll get those first seven books. Afterward, you will unlock a yellow quest in Layar Terrace of East Lutera called Where Help is Needed, which will award you an additional three blue class engraving books. Next up, I'm going to cover the blue class engravings that are roster rewards, meaning you can only complete them once on your roster, so your alts won't be able to do these ones again. You can get a total of nine books from completing quests on Shadow Moon Market Island, three books on Argon, three books on Sublime Isle, and three books on Eternity Isle. And I've talked about this in other videos, but at tier two, you can also start doing your Yellow Anguished Isle daily to receive keys in order to enter the Anguished Isle dungeon. You can't enter this dungeon until tier 3, however, you can only get a key once a day, so you can start stockpiling them early for extra runs when you do get there. This dungeon gives you currency that you can spend at the merchant right outside of it, and aside from lots of great rewards, you can actually buy 5 blue class engravings and 3 purple class engraving books. Again, you can only buy these once per roster. And remember, unless you're looking to get both of your blue class engravings, you can always put the remaining class engravings in your roster storage for your alts. Or you can just use them on your main because books are roster bound as well. And this last way to get blue class engravings actually takes a bit of time, but it does give an additional 20 books per roster, which is farming chaos dungeons in tier 2. By completing a chaos dungeon after your first two runs of the day, you begin to accumulate the guardian shard currency instead of honing materials. You can spend the currency at the exchange chaos dungeon shard merchant for lots of different goodies. You are able to buy up to 20 engravings per roster, and and you can actually pick if you want the class engraving chests or combat engraving chests. So if you're in need of some combat books, this is an option for that as well. You can also buy 20 green class or combat books from doing the same process in tier 1 chaos dungeons if you need those as well. And on top of all of this, for a limited time only, from now until April, you can actually purchase 8 blue class engravings and 4 purple class engraving books per roster each week from the Arcasia Grand Prix event merchant. All of your alts can farm this event currency through Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids too, so don't miss out on that. And now I want to quickly go over how you will unlock the 20 purple class engraving books on your main. So if you've gotten purple class engravings, you can save those for your alts or sell them. Don't waste them now. You'll unlock these 20 books through your welcome challenges once you get to tier 3. Each welcome challenge gives a total of 10 class books, and the first one that you'll unlock is from doing a T3 boss rush and completing the first level of it. The second welcome challenge takes a bit longer to complete since it requires you to enchant to 1340, but you will get another 10 class engraving books from doing this. Also something to note, if you haven't seen it yet, for the March 10th to April 14th login rewards, you can get 10 blue class engravings on day 12 and 10 purple ones on day 24, so make sure you're logging in to claim those as well. I wish you guys luck with your engraving hunting and hope you enjoyed your upgraded books. As always, I'll catch you all next time.